वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो सीरीज दैट इज ट्रिक्स ऑफ ट्रेड इन जी आई सर्जरी दिस इज द सिक्स पार्ट एंड इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओइसोफेकोजिनल एनास्टमोसिस हैंड सोन टेक्निक सो इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थियोटिकली अबाउट यूसोफेकोजिनल एनास्मोसिस एंड वी हैव मॉडिफाइड दिस टेक्निक एज पर अवर ओन एक्सपीरियंस एंड दिस टेक्निक इज समवर्ट analogous to hepaticogenostomy technique which we follow and uh, for the surgery trainees and wedding surgeon i feel this is the safest technique while they are venturing into this field of surgery so a quick recap friends in the first part we discussed how to negotiate the umbilicus while giving midline laparotomy skin incision to avoid the ugly scar in the second part we uh, discuss how to find the linear alva in morbid obesity patient and to have a bloodless entry into the abdomen third short video was about uh, not through the falciparum that is how to negotiate the falciparum uh, while approaching the upper end of uh, incision in the fourth part we discuss the anatomical importance of arcuate line while closing the midline laparotomy the fifth video short video was dedicated about how to uh, achieve a good mask closure or tension mask closure and we have discussed two technique one is classical technique and one is another modified technique so friends uh, in reference to this present video talk that is the esophagogenal anastomosis we have already discussed uh, in detail about lap proximal gastrectomy uh, for a gist patient and in which we did lap esophagogenal anastomosis but i request the viewers and trainees to go through that video because you will have some better understanding and better uh, depth of the subject so friend the whole course that is tricks of trade in gi surgery and this stomach and g injection series the whole course is available on our app the app is available for android uh, and ios platform it is free to download app with many bonus content so please do get connected to us and download the app the link for app is available in description of this video and i will share in the i cards also for better learning experience it is requested and desirable that you download the app and have a better learning experience coming to the talk of this video so friends uh, the esophagus has been transected at the desired level and the rule limb has been fashioned so now we'll continue our talk from here onwards and so uh, first is we make a entrotomy on the rule limb that is the jejunum and as the diameter of the esophagus is roughly 2.5 cm so always keep the entrotomy on the jejunum smaller roughly 2/3 of the esophageal op opening and never more than 2 cm because as uh, with our experience and you will also understand that this entrotomy of the jejunum always get widens and always create a discrepancy so always measure this entrotomy with a measuring scale and roughly make it uh, just uh, closer to the 2 cm but never more than 2 cm then as a routine we apply these tucking sutures there is four point fixation on jejunal mucosa that is cat get 2 and that is just to keep the mucosa uh, close closer to the basically entrotomy otherwise it gets retracted and the whole aim of these anastomosis or any anastomosis in gi surgery is mucosa to mucosa apposition so we always have to ensure that mucosa stays in our uh, in our basically view and uh, we will also demonstrate the whole step everything in detail in live surgery uh, in time to come so stay tuned so this will be actually the first step uh, so we always uh, apply some soft clamp or right angle basculo clamp on the esophagus approximately 4 5 cm above the cut margin and that will avoid the retraction of the esophagus and will also keep it steady because this basculo clamp be, can be uh, tucked in a place so as i said earlier this technique is almost analogous to our uh, hepaticogenostomy technique with some uh, some minor differences uh, uh, this suture is pds foro suture we use and uh, uh, i have said many times in my previous talks and previous video that the pds is the best suture which is closer to the ideal suture so pds double arm suture uh, we always use and these are the first two suture placed